Hello my dear children welcome you all once again to our class and this day we are going to deal with the new poem from our textbook the tale of castor the dragon and this poem was written by Frederick Odin Nash this Frederick Odin Nash was an american poet and his lifespan begins from 1902 on august 19 till 1971 on may may 19 Knowing much about Odin Nash we see that he was known for his light verse and he has written over 500 pieces with his unconventional rhyming scheme he was declared the country's best known producer of humorous poetry Odin Nash wrote over 400 pieces of comic verse too the best of his work was published in 14 volumes between 1931 and 1972 and we see that this tale of dragon Kasta dragon is a ballad form and a ballad is a form of verse which is often narrated set to music that is a song or a dance song okay and also we see that this ballad derived from the french song the originally it was called a dance song and it was popularly seen as the poetry and song of britain and ireland and this form that we are going to deal today is a style of a ballad where you see a story is narrated especially a ballad deals with the story of courage and heroism even though this is a humorous ballad but still then it gives a wonderful story and also we see that this poem is a humorous ballad close to parody okay so let's see the tale of kasta the dragon as we already said this is a humorous poem narrating the story of a coward dragon who is the pet of belinda belinda is a small girl who lives in a white house okay and she is having four pets a black kitten a gray mouse a low dog and a little dragon and apart from all these things she has got a red wagon too wagon is a vehicle so what we see in this poem is this ballad revolves around the life of kastar the dragon and in the beginning of the poem we see that the dragon is mentioned as a coward coward means who is weak in courage and uh, lacks strong mental strength let's see the poem belinda lives in a little white house with little black kitten and a little gray mouse and a little yellow dog and a red wagon and a rilio trilio little pet dragon now the name of the little black kitten was ink and the little gray mouse she called him blink and the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard and the dragon was a coward and she called him custer so what we see in the first two stanzas of this poem is here it just like narrates the story of a girl named belinda she lives in a little white house she is a girl who lives in a little white house and it was said that she has got four pets the first one is a kitten what is the color of the kitten it's black so she called it ink what is the name of the kitten it's ink then she talks about another pet a mouse the color of the mouse is gray so she called it blink see ink and blink for kitten and mouse then she has got a yellow dog he is so sharp so she called him as mustard then she also have one more pet and that is a little dragon and why she called it at custard because he is so coward coward means so weak and he lacks courage he is afraid of everything okay so she called him custard so who are the pet animals of this uh, belinda ink blink mustard custard see the rhyming words ink blink mustard custard So and apart from this pet animal she also owns a red wagon wagon is a vehicle to carry things just like a wheelbarrow so these are the things that you see in the house of belinda and they all live in a white little house and what is the name of the owner it's belinda a little girl and also we see that the next two stanzas custard the dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on the top of him and scales underneath mouth like a fireplace chimney for a nose and 
Delio, Trulio, dra- daggers on his toes. Belinda was as brave as a barrel full of bears, and ink and blink chased lions down the stairs. Mustard was as brave as a tiger in a rage, but Custard cried for a nice safe cage. So here the other important meanings of the words are given here: spikes, is thin pointed surface, scales. Underneath, then fireplace dagger. Okay, so the meanings are given here. What we see here is in the next two stanzas, we see that the description of the pet animals were given. First of all, the poet is giving, or the nation is giving, the description of the dragon. What is the dragon? The name of the dragon is Custard. Why she has given the name Custard? Because he is so covered. Now talking about this dragon, we see that the dragon had big sharp teeth and also spikes on the top, pointed like things on the top of him. You know that, okay? So here, uh, spikes on his top. Then there are scales to protect the skin. So bones to protect the skin. Then his mouth is said to be compared to a fireplace. Why? Because it can produce fire. It gives fire from his mouth, so that's why the mouth of the dragon is said to be what a fireplace, and the nose is said to be chimney. Why, when the fire goes through the mouth, what goes through the nose? Smoke. Okay, smoke go through the nose. That's why the nose is said to be chimney, and the mouth is said to be a fireplace. And also, it was said that the toes. Okay, the feet of the dragon is so sharp, like that of. Nice. That's why it says that there are there are daggers, or daggers means sharp knives on his feet. So this description is given for dragon. It has uh, sharp teeth, spikes on top, then scales underneath. These are scales underneath. Then mouth is considered or compared to a fireplace. Then the nose is compared to a chimney and Here we see that the poet sees that there are daggers on his feet because they are sharp like knives. Then talking about the other pets also, so he said Belinda was so strong, or she compares herself. The courageous uh, deed of Belinda is compared to that of a group of bears. Okay, bear are so strong; they are not afraid of anyone. Likewise, Belinda is also like a strong girl, so she is co- compared to what a group of bears. So the poet says that she is so strong, like a group of bears, so so strong and courageous. And also talking about the kitten and mouse, they are also courageous that they hunt lions. That means. Whatever, whenever they hear something noise here and there, they used to search everywhere, go all around and see for things themselves. And the dog also mustard. He was so brave, and he is compared to a tiger. Okay, the courageousness of this kitten and mouse is said to be like even they are so ready to hunt lions. And here we see that the dog mustard was so brave, and he was compared to a Tiger, but what about the dragon? The dragon was not so strong. He was not so courageous. So he always wanted to keep himself safe in a cage. So he says that I wanted to be in a cage. I need a cage. So these are the uh, characteristics of the pets of Belinda. Belinda herself was so strong, and she is said to be compared to be like that of a pack of bears. Then ink and blink. Ink and blink is the kitten and the mouse. They are also so courageous. Even they are ready to hunt whom the lions and the dog. You know that always keen and sharp is the guardian of the house, and he is said to be like a tiger. But the dragon always kept himself safe in a cage. Then coming to the next two stanzas, Belinda tickled him and tickled him unmerciful. Ink, blink, and mustard. They rudely call him. Percival. They all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the Rilio Trulio Cowardly Dragon. Okay, and Belinda giggled till she took the house. And Blink said, "Weak," which is giggling for a mouse. Ink and Mustard rudely asked to sage when Custard cried for a nice safe cage. So here we see that in the next two stanzas, here 
they are all are making fun of whom making fun of poor dragon even belinda also what belinda is doing belinda all was mercilessly she just went and giggled tickled him okay what is tickling when you make someone ticklish when if you are ticklish when you someone makes tickle tickle you you will laugh isn't it giggle with shy just like was tickling so here belinda used to go and tickle this dragon custard and this custard you know that if he is having ticklish he will also giggle and seeing this one all the pet animals ing bling and mustard they used to laugh and make fun of him they used to call him percival actually percival is a hero and a brave knight of arthurian stories the court of arthur this percival was a strong and a brave knight okay he was ready to face any crucial situation he is not afraid of anything so in order to tease this dragon they all call him percival that means a courageous knight who is afraid of anything everything so whenever they just uh, make fun of this dragon he used to run away because he lack courage when this belinda tickle him because of the lacking courage he will not stay there he will run away from that place then what happened says that belinda used to laugh till the little cottage get shake okay she used to laugh aloud along with other pets the other pets even this ink and blink also laugh aloud weeks weeks here means the sound of the mouse the kitten everyone laughs and we see that this kitten as well as this dog used to ask the age of this dragon because he behaves like a little child who always wanted to be get protected and also we see that the dragon is such a kind that he always cried for a safe cage says that please build a cage for me i am afraid to stay around okay likewise so that's why this belinda as well as the other pets just make fun of him call him percival as a what is it uh, making fun of him just uh, as a contrast to his character he is very shy and afraid so they call him with the name of a brave knight and they used to ask him his age to show that even though you are grown up you are still worried and fearsome and lack courage and you are behaving like a little kid in order to show all these things all these people other than this dragon were making fun of him and they used to tease him and then what happened one day suddenly suddenly they heard a nasty sound and mustard growled and they all looked around mewed cried ing and old cried belinda for there was a pirate climbing in the window pistol in his left hand pistol in his right and he held his teeth the cutlass bright his beard was black and leg was one leg was wood it was clear that the pirate mean no good so now what happened as all these people were oh belinda and other pets were making fun of this custard the dragon called him really old really old custard dragon that is a uh, uh, why they were calling like that just for a fun they are just giving some rhyming words and calling him really really old really old custard dragon call him make him fun of him by telling that you are a coward by the time what happened suddenly they heard a sound that someone was trying to enter into their house so hearing the sound and seeing that someone was trying to enter dog started or mustard started barking and looking all around cat and rat cried with the sound of mew send it they started crying and they looking for to see who is there through the window that is winda winda here means window okay and belinda also cried for help with fear when she saw someone just climbing through the window in order to rob them so because of fear this ink blink mustard and belinda they all of them went for hiding because they are afraid that someone is here to rob them so belinda started crying and she can't stand there even though she is said to be so courageous like that of a pack of bears but now she lost all her courage she is now weak she is crying 
she is afraid now and all other pets who said to be like a uh, like a tiger then so courageous even to chase a lion everyone went for hide okay now actually who was here there was a pirate and it says it a pirate a pirate is a person who robs a ship okay so just likewise this little white house is going to be robbed by someone and this person the description of the pirate is said to be he was uh, having guns in both left and right hand both of his hands were having what guns in in, in his hands and also there was a knife between his teeth there was a sword that he was just holding with his teeth so seeing this situation seeing the figure of this person this belinda started crying and also the explanation of the man was said that he had black beard and one of his leg was made of wood that shows that he is handicapped person he doesn't have one leg so that's why it says that he is of no good because he is a pirate but still then he is handicapped that may be one of the reason he hold two guns in his right and left hand and there is a sword in his teeth he was just holding sword with his teeth and they believe that definitely this pirate came to harm them so what happened we see that this ing blink mustard they all went for hiding even our belinda was also crying with fear okay now belinda peeled and she cried help help but mustard fled with a terrified yell ing trickled down to the bottom of the house hall and little mouse bling strategically mouse hauled but up chimed custard snorting like an engine clashed his tail like an iron in a dunkin with clatter and a clang and a jangling squim he went at the pirate like a robin at a worm so what happened so we see that when the pirate came there belinda was so frightened even though she was said to be so courageous like that of a pack of bears but still then when a pirate came here she was afraid she started crying and also she was just calling for help someone please come and help me hearing this one we see that mustard the dog also gave a cry of fear so she paled yellow a uh, paled uh, belinda paled belinda paled means she turned yellow yellow due to fear and also she made a cry and we see that mustard fled with a terrified yell yell means a sharp cry okay dog also cried and he went away from the place then we see that ink trickle what is a trickle trickle means ink and blink slowly started running from the place and they thought of just go and hide somewhere as if little uh, kitten kitten the name of the kitten is ink ah uh, that kitten ran towards uh, the bottom of the house as if he planned and he went there for hiding a mouse also what is the name of the mouse mouse is blink okay so this uh, mouse also went to hide in his hole so only who was there belinda was crying and all other animals went for hiding then what happened then we see that our dragon is in action what happened immediately we see that clashed his tail like iron in a dunkin with a clatter and a clang and jingling squirm he went at the pirate like a robin at a worm so now custard the dragon jumped out with a big sound when all other animals who said that already we have seen that our dog said that i was so courageous and brave like a tiger what happened to dog dog gave a cry of fear and he was hiding then we see that ink and blink said that we can chase lion but here when a pirate came they were also hiding in their holes and everyone who used to uh, call this dragon a coward i who is afraid of everything and also we see that this ink and blink used to ask what is your age that you are afraid of everything likewise now who came out in order to face this pirate of a dragon this a uh, fearful dragon the so called coward dragon jumped up with a 
big sound and he made a sound like that of an engine when what is the sound when an engine is started okay like voice he was just growling and coming out and he went on to the pirate you know who is a pirate is a pirate is a, a robber in a ship so here this dragon went towards this pirate and he made a strong sound with his nose like that of the uh, engine sound and also he hit the ground with his long tail creating a terrible sound like that of what a metal in a, like a metal just like an underground prison like voice creating a lot of terrific sound who came out our dragon came out this was a most unexpected thing because belinda never thought that this dragon would come out like this that's why she cried of cried for help she was pretty sure that this dragon is so fearful and he is afraid of everything each and every single thing the dragon is afraid of so they never thought that dragon will come out like this so this is an unexpected action from the part of whom dragon then what happened producing a heavy sound of metal being rubbed each other in the underground prison he attacked the pirate how just like a robin bird that attacks a worm just like a bird who comes and just pick up a worm likewise who came here our dragon came here then let's see what happened the pirate gave to the belinda's dragon and gulped some broke from his pocket flagon He fired two bullets but they didn't hit and Custard gobbled him every bit. Belinda embraced him, Custard licked him and Owen mourned for his pirate victim. Ink and bling and glee did gyrate around the dragon that ate the pirate. So what happened? This dragon, seeing the dragon unexpectedly, here we see that, what is that? The pirate seeing the dragon, he never thought that this Belinda will be having a pet like a pirate. dragon already we have seen that the dragon just came like here it says the dragon was compared to a robin robin is a bird who comes and pick up the worm so likewise when the dragon came here this pirate it was also afraid he also got shocked and he opened his mouth ah what is this i never expected such a thing here so immediately what happened the pirate also he become so frightened and also we see that he jumped on to the pirate with long sound and we see that the pirate who was shocked and afraid what he did he just opened his mouth wide and in order to hide his fear what he did he ga- in order to gather some strength he took an alcohol or a liquor from his pocket and he started drinking for what for gathering courage to become so strong to get rid of this fear of this dragon he took a liquor he took some alcohol from his container in his pocket or the liquor that was kept in his pocket and he started drinking then what happened after drinking this he feel like ah oh, i am now strong i am courageous to face this dragon after gathering some courage what he did he fired two bullets to whom to our dragon he fired two bullets to a custard the dragon but what happened that missed that in hit whom the dragon slowly dragon what happened this custard the dragon started eating every bit of this what is that uh, pirate who was standing before him so here we see that already the pirate who drank from his uh, pocket flagon flagon means a, a container made of silver okay in which uh, this types of alcohol or drinks is stored so actually he took this one he drank in order to be courageous what what happened this custard the dragon slowly started eating each bit of this pirate so we see that who is courageous here is it the custard or mustard or ink or bling or belinda everyone was teasing and making fun of whom making fun of this custard now custard came out fighting with great thud and sound he ate every bit of this pirate immediately who is happy now or belinda is very happy because she was crying with fear and calling for help so when this uh, belinda so that our dragon has killed this pirate she become very happy and what happened she embraced him what did she do 
When the pirate was dead, everyone came here to appreciate the dragon. Belinda hugged him. Immediately, who also came? Mustard also came. Who is a mustard? The puppy, the dog. Mustard also came, licking this uh, dragon, showing his love. And who else were there? Also there, Ing and Bling, cat and mouse. They also came running around him and looking with great love. And they were not bothered about that pirate, the death of the pirate. They were not bothered about the death of the pirate. Everyone was happy because they were now saved by whom? Saved by. dragon the custard and they started showing their thanks and love for saving them from this uh, pirate so that's how that's why belinda came instead of putting a ticklish uh, to this dragon she was just giving a very sweet hug to this dragon and our dog is licking him and our ink and bling is running around this dragon But what happened? But presently, up spoke the little dog master. I would have been twice as brave if I hadn't been flustered. And up spoke Ink and uh, up spoke Blink. We would have been there three times as brave. We think. And Custard said, I quite agree that everyone, everybody is braver than me. Belinda still sleeps in her little white house with her little black kitten and her little grey mouse and her little yellow dog. and her little red wagon and her rilio trilio little pet dragon so what happened so once this other pets dog mouse blink ink and blink everyone was appreciating immediately we see that the dog doesn't like appreciating this their mentality changed so when the dragon helped them all they were happy slowly they started feeling ashamed because all this while they are telling that dog mustard used to say that I am as brave as a tiger. But what happened in this situation? He was hiding. Now he said that what happened? He says said, said ah, I could have done something at the beginning when I saw unexpectedly when I saw the pirate. I was a bit confused. That's why I was just sitting there. I didn't come out. Who explained this dog? Mustard says said actually I am so brave. Okay, and don't think that I am a coward. I am not a coward. I was a bit confused when I saw this pirate for the uh, in the beginning. Slowly they started reminding this dragon how courageous they were. They were all started praising themselves. First of all, who said this one? Mustard said. Then we see that once the dog said this, and here comes both Ink and Blink. Says that ah, oh, they also could have been three times braver than Custard. Says that ah, oh, Ink and Blink also says that we are more. Braver than you, custard. We are three times braver than you, custard. But okay, but they didn't show this here, isn't it? So hearing the words of mustard, blink, and ink, what the dragon said, custard, the dragon just agreed to what they said. He simply said, "Okay, I agree," and he said that, "Yes, I know that you all are braver than me." Who says this? Custard, the dragon says that. I know that. You all are braver than me, but in reality, who is the real brave person here? Our custard, the dragon. Okay, but other pets were trying to show that they are also braver, but in this situation, somehow they went hiding. That doesn't mean that they are cowards. They were cowards. So now here we see that the poet was telling that this pets, other than the dragon, was not ready to agree the fact that they are afraid. and they were try to show that they are trying to admit that they were also courageous like more than like custard and both mm, the ink and bling along with mustard and custard they thought of continuing their life that's why it says that belinda is as brave as a barrel full of pearls and a ink and bling chase lions down the stairs mustard is as brave as a tiger in a rage but custard keep crying for a nice cage so here we see that the poet is using the same lines against to show that this terrific episode in the dragon was the hero where all other characters were whom were cowards but only in their words they were trying to say that they were courageous enough actually the real hero of this poem is custard the dragon so anyhow belinda the little girl lives in her white little cottage with a red wagon Okay, in this red wagon, all the pets along with her used to travel. Then we see that she has got a what is that? Uh, 
mustard, the dog, she has ink and blink, cat and mouse and also the custard, the dragon. So this is all about and also she continued to live her life like a Belinda as brave as a pack of bears. So but here. Uh, here we see that they still live in the little white cottage with everyone and all of them seems to be very brave whereas the dragon still continues to long for a safer cage even though he shone his courage but still then he wished to have what a safer cage he cries for a cage okay so the poetic device that we see throughout this uh, poem is first of all the rhyming scheme as you go through the Form. Here we see that just coming to the first stanza, we can see that uh, the poetic device lines goes like this. Belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little grey mouse. And here we see that house mouse, AA. Then, and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a really a truly a little pet dragon, wagon, dragon. So, what is the rhyming scheme? Is AA. B B. That is the first and the second last words of the line ends with same sound. Ink blink mustard custard. Okay, mustard custard ink blink. So A A B B. That is followed throughout the poem. So the rhyming scheme of the poem is A A B B. As it ends with the same rhyming scheme in line one, line two, and also line three and line four ends with the same sound. So A A B B. The second one is simile. Simile is here we see that here the chasing of the dragon towards the pirate seems to be like like a robin he catches the like a robin catches a worm dragon just get hold of whom get hold of the pirate another one is the sound of the engine isn't it the sound of the dragon is compared with the sound of the engine telling that's nothing like an engine so here we see that uh, it's simile okay and also another one is clashed his tail like irons in a dungeon. That is also said here. Then another one is onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is sound echoing words. The words clatter, clang, jangling. Everyone gives the sound of the thing that really happens. The sound echoing words. The sound that is produced is same as the words is being said. Okay. Then the next one is repetition. Repetition is Tickled him, tickled him. Words is repeated twice in the same line. Okay, so that is repetition. And alliteration, alliteration here. There are other lines also that uh, forms alliteration. Belinda was as brave as a barrel and full of bears. Which sound is repeated? Burr, burr, burr. Belinda, brave, barrel and bears. Okay, burr sound is repeated. So is alliteration. And also here we have one more that is oxymoron. Oxymoron is opposite. That is here talking about oxymoron because we see that uh, use of two words with opposite meaning. Oxymoron is use of two words with opposite meaning. What is that? Pet and dragon. Usually, dragon will not be domesticated as a pet animal. So here, as the dragon is used as a pet animal, that is the poetic device that is used here is oxymoron. Okay. And also here we see that there is a refrain that is continued in several stanzas that is really trillio, 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 okay, that is repeated again and again, so that can be called as refrain, okay. So these are some of the important poetic device that you can go through the poem. And also anaphora is also there, anaphora is beginning with the same word. One example is and the little grey and the little yellow, okay, and the, and the. So likewise. You have some poetic device in this. So, thank you all for listening.